The state of Illinois is a very divergent juxtaposition of arts expression. Here in Chicago, we're a sprawling, urban, metropolitan center, and the arts in Chicago reflect that. Very cutting-edge theater, cutting-edge visual arts, music. But most of the state are small, rural communities that dot the plains. And so in the state of Illinois, you have everything from the historic theater that we have in Chicago to the age-old art of blacksmithing. I believe that the National Endowment for the Arts and the Illinois Arts Council Agency have ensured that access to the arts is possible throughout the state. The Goodman Theater has always been very proud of the fact that when you come to the Goodman, our shows look like the, the city of Chicago. There are many ways that we have uh, been able to reflect the changing population and demographics of our city by presenting classic works and contemporary works. Albany Park Theatre Project is an ensemble of teenage performers that by focusing on social justice issues, they create these visually stunning, uh, incredibly moving pieces of theatre. Constantly looking at those kind of organic structures, whether you know it's taking a scalpel and opening up a blade of grass or looking at a seashell, I find structures that are inherent in natural forms and I interpret those and put them in the sculpture. There is a percent for the arts law in Illinois that is one half of one percent of construction budgets for projects that go through the Illinois Capital Development Board is spent on artwork for those facilities. These are usually libraries, university buildings, perhaps a courthouse. The commissions go to Illinois artists. They have to be a resident of the state. They have to be over 18 years old. That's about the only requirements. I got my first commission through the Illinois Capital Development Board. I've done half a dozen of those commissions over the years, but it really got my foot in the door and allowed me to start to work on that kind of scale, which then, of course, led to many other commissions. It's an important program because it, one, it allows public art to exist and it is good for our economy. There's a ripple effect of these things that keeps people employed. It, you know, provides artwork for facilities. It's just a great program. Carbondale Community Arts started as a biennial arts festival, multi-arts festival held in the city parks back in the 1980s. It was started by uh, a couple of local artists as a way of getting exposure uh, to the community at large and Carbondale Community Arts sort of grew out of that and now is uh, basically the preeminent arts agency for the 26 uh, southernmost counties of Illinois. I think the National Endowment for the Arts is more relevant now than perhaps uh, when it was founded. Arts agencies, artists, and uh, not-for-profits across the country suffered horribly in the Great Recession of a few years ago. To have that continuous funding stream from the National Endowment for the Arts is absolutely vital. Happy 50th anniversary, National Endowment for the Arts. Uh, it's true, art works, and you've done a terrific job. I just can't wait to see what's ahead in the next 50 years. Happy anniversary. <laughs>